Greetings from Mucus Asylum Stadium in Luniapolis, Craziana, where fans are burning effigies of GM crying pigskin in protest of his latest trade that sent three players to Grim Bay in exchange for a sack of toasters. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the insane Colts. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some NFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Mutants I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh! I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime new lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Ho ho! Va 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 voom! And he shuffled his feet so well on that play. I know I should never hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge! That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really. He's supercharged and can electrocute any. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. And it's first and ten. Watch out, the ball carrier's brought a chainsaw to the field. Holy crap! He missed time the spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with, uh, no mustard? And that'll be second and eight to go. <laughs> the receiver runs away from the pass marker? That's a good clue that something's not right. I don't know. You know what <laughs> Third down and eight. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She had 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. A great throw and a great catch. But Sandler... Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. Yeah. 
Second down, the side. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and four. with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> Not much there, maybe a yard. <laughs> Third and two. Quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who was intuitive? I don't know what. And a werewolf. <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned on the line, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he gets three yards on that run. <laughs> Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. The defense goes to one speed. Man, what a hit that was. Third down and ten. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First and ten. And the defense jumps offside trying to mutilate the cue. And then unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service located just off the Beltway, exit five. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Reception. This quarter. Oh, what a hit. Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10 story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. He turned into a mutant fireball with that Playmon dirty trick. And anything he touches gets flumping. <laughs> Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Well, if the ref 
Cap didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this night, Quinn. First and eight to go. was there, but he still picked up the yard somehow. Second down and six. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Jimmy passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second down and nine. game is starting to click now. A pick up a pick. It's a vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot it's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably able to intercept him, though. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. <laughs> the offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't quibble him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second down and four. why we love the MFL. And they'll bring him third down and seven. First down. 
down. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down, it ain't gonna happen, partner.
one time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard. I'm oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and eight to go. Huh? 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 And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called shit. It's good. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Two minutes left in the half. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is gonna have more receptions than the offense. Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have, and trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. And it's first and ten. gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, that's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Brix? Uh, have you seen my beer? And it's first and ten. And that's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, man, he really worked! Oh, and the ball carrier just got skewered! <laughs> and that's the end of his day. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And like Bricks and Bowles, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way! <laughs>
The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how to throw interceptions, but when I do. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. First down to keep the drive alive. <laughs> Quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go for a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, once you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Hey, it reminds me of that song. He stepped on a pop top and blew out his flip flop. Not to mention his insides. Wasted away again, Newtonville. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. done for a first down. And it's first and ten. That pass play nets them seven yards. plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop him. First and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so... He broke free and has open field in front of him. Folks. 
The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Second down and five. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and five. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to play. You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as you get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. And it's first and ten. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of it. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second down and two. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it.
And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every up. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second down and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And he's off to the races. He's at the 20. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. Second down and inch it. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. The 
best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up third and one. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage. The insane cults do their sacred ritual blood dance after taking apart the opposition in a win by forfeit. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because they yeah, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every up.